Hello everyone, Gamma Games here and welcome back to another PowerPoint tutorial. Today I'll be showing you how to make a shooting game in PowerPoint. Here I have an instructions page already set up, but other than that I'm going to be taking you through it step by step. So the first thing that we're going to need to do is to get the developer tab up here in the ribbon. So what you do, you click the office button, you click PowerPoint options, you select the popular tab and you click show developer tab in the ribbon. Once you click OK the developer tab will appear up here. I'm now going to click over here and press the enter key to create a new slide. Delete everything on this slide. Click animations. Take on mouse click off. I'm also going to do this on the first slide. I now want to hyperlink this play button to the second slide so I select the play button I right click I hyperlink place in this document slide 2 now if I go into the slideshow clicking on the background won't change the slide and when I click this play button it takes me to the second slide I'm now going to add in the targets. I have a green target for one point, a yellow target for two points, and a red target will take away a point. So I'm going to put these targets in on this slide. I just simply copied and pasted them. You can make your targets look like whatever you want and add as many points as you want. Next I'm going to go up to this new developer tab and I'm going to select label. It looks like a capital A I'm going to draw the label in this top left corner. I'm going to resize accordingly and then click properties and change the caption to zero. I'll close the properties and you can now see this label says zero. With the label selected I'm now going to click view code this will open up this new window. Um, this is where you can type Visual Basic Code or VBA. I'm going to delete what it says here and type sub green open bracket close bracket. On this next line I'm going to type label one dot caption space equals space bracket label one dot caption close bracket plus one this is the green code so when you click the green button it will add one to your score I'm going to copy this and underneath I'm going to paste it I'm going to change the title to yellow and I'm going to make it add 2 because I want it to add 2 to the score. I'm going to copy this again and I'm going to make it red and I'm going to minus 1 from the score. Okay now I'm going to close this new window and I'm going to select the green target click insert, click action and I'm going to down, go down here and I'm going to go down here where it says run macro and I'm going to select slide 2 green I'm going to do the same thing with the yellow target I'm going to select run macro this time slide 2 yellow and with the red one slide 2 red so now if I enter the slideshow, if I click the green it will plus 1 to my score, the yellow will plus 2 to my score, and the red will take away 1 from my score. Now I'm going to copy the target, the amount that I want in the presentation, and as you should see all of these targets should work.
I'm now going to go to the animations tab and I'm going to move these targets off screen I'm going to go to custom animation and I'm going to add a path add effect motion path draw custom path freeform I'm going to make this green target go up there and down the other side and I'm going to double click to finish the path I'm going to right click effect options take off smooth start and smooth end I'm going to change it to with previous and select repeat until end of slide so as you see when I enter the presentation now the green circle will move across for me it moved too fast so I'm going to change it to 8 seconds to complete its cycle So now, as you can see, when I manage to click the green circle, it increases my score. I'm going to do the same with all of these other circles, just adding paths with different times and different delays. Okay, so I've added in a lot of custom animations for a lot of targets, so if I show you what I've got, as you can see very complicated and lots of red to try and make the player lose points and they're very hard to hit uh, harder than it looks okay so now we're going to want to add a timer because you don't want somebody playing on this indefinitely because they're going to get an indefinitely high score so on the animations tab you want to click advanced slide automatically after and type the amount of time that you want your game to last. I want it to last for 30 seconds. Sounds like a good round time. And I'm going to make a visual cue on the slide so somebody can see how long they have left. To do that, I simply add in a rectangle up here. I'm just going to recolor this to be blue so it's a different color to everything else on the slide so that way nobody gets confused and I'm going to type timer in it. Now under the animations tab I'm going to select the timer click custom animation, add effect, exit, more effects and I'm going to select wipe. I want this to wipe from right and I'm going to right click effect options timing with previous and I want it to last 30 seconds I'm going to make sure that it is right at the very top here so that it starts as soon as the slide is activated so if we view that we click play and the timer is going down for 30 seconds As you can see, after the timer had reached zero, the slide ended. So now we need an end slide to go to that displays your score and lets you exit the presentation. So I'm going to click over here. I'm going to add a new slide. I'm going to add in a box. I'm going to type click to view your score I'm going to add a label underneath click properties make the caption blank and font I'm going to make a size 48 I'm going to call this label label 2 I'm now going to click view code I'm going to delete what's written there and I'm going to type sub space score 
open close bracket. I'm now going to type slide three dot label two dot caption space equals slide two dot label one dot caption. I'm going to close this. I'm going to click on this text box I made, insert, action, run macro, score. OK. I'm going to add in another auto shape. I'll type exit. Now we want to make it so that the score resets and you can exit the presentation. So we want to go view code, sub, space reset open close bracket slide two dot label one dot caption space equals zero slide three dot label two dot caption space equals open and close now we want active presentation dot slide show window dot view dot exit now we're going to close this select the exit button click insert action, run macro, reset. OK. So now if we give a final test of the presentation, I'll get myself a score. I click to view my score and it updates it to 6. And when I exit the presentation, it resets the score. Okay guys, I hope you found this tutorial useful. It had quite a lot of complicated stuff in it, so if you've got any questions, feel free to ask me in the description below. If you did like the video though, give it a thumbs up. And if you want more tutorials for PowerPoint, Excel, and any other Microsoft product, uh, just subscribe, because there'll be some coming out soon. Thanks again guys, and I'll see you next time.